So perhaps you're in a situation like me where you have a lot of Wi-Fi dead spots in, in your house. And most importantly, you don't want to run a bunch of ugly Ethernet cables all throughout your house or drill holes and stuff like that. Then I really think you should consider the Deco XE75. And now this is the tri-band mesh router system featuring Wi-Fi 6E, which is the next generation of Wi-Fi. I'm really excited to talk about it, so let's get right into the video. So I've been running the Deco XE75 Pro for quite some time in my house with a mesh node system, and I have to say it has really improved my quality of life. Finally, I can get access to the internet in places where I just never could. And what was really funny was I was in my bedroom and I was using my phone to like surf the internet and whatnot, and I would always see it disconnect from the Wi-Fi and then start using my data. So it would end up using all my cellular data and costing me a lot of my bill. So I needed a solution for this and this really solved it. Not only that, it offers a lot of new features and it really supports the next generation of Wi-Fi 6E, which I'm gonna talk about. So this is really a next generation Wi-Fi 6E system. So what does that mean? Well, first of all, it's tri-band. So it supports 2.4, 5, 5 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz. And 6 gigahertz is the new uh, frequency that is supported by Wi-Fi 6E. Now, I do want to quickly mention that in order to take advantage of the new 6E speeds, you do need devices that support it. So currently, none of my real devices actually support it. But that's not a bad thing. So what's really, really cool about this mesh node system is that it uses a Wi-Fi 6 backhaul system. Okay, so what exactly is a backhaul? Now, Backhaul is basically how you connect two nodes through a very fast connection. Now, typically the, the best way to connect uh, two mesh nodes so that you can extend your Wi-Fi network coverage is through cable using, let's say, an Ethernet cable. And this is something that you typically see in your telecom communications. So for example, let's say you want internet in your rural area, they'll, they'll run the fiber network through the main uh, street to a specific node. And then from that node, they'll connect it through some other method. And so that's basically the backhaul. So basically the backhaul gives you access to the highway without actually having direct access to the highway. So in, in a similar fashion, in your home, you're gonna have your router uh, connected to the internet, and then you're gonna have your node one of, your, one of your deco nodes connected to it. And then from there, you're gonna have a backhaul, which connects to another node and so forth. So you can extend it as far as you can. So what's really cool about this backhaul is that it can create a Wi-Fi 6E connection between the, to the, the two nodes. And what this means is that it uses its own band or its own frequency so that it doesn't interfere with all the other frequencies. So your five gigahertz, which is also comprised of Wi-Fi 6, just a normal Wi-Fi 6 and uh, regular Wi-Fi devices, Wi-Fi 5 devices, and your 2.4 gigahertz frequency. So basically you have a backhaul that's wireless, not relying on ethernet cables, that is extremely fast. It's using the, the fastest Wi-Fi 6E and then you can have all your other devices connect to the, just the more standard Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 5 technologies, and you, and you really eliminate all the congestion. So this is a really big feature, and one of the things that I really like about having a tri-band Wi-Fi router system. So let's talk about the whole setup and installation. Now I have to say, I was very, very pleased of how easy it was to set this up. I was really not looking forward to redoing all my Wi-Fi network set settings. I have like a bunch of light bulbs, IoT devices that are connected to the 2.5 uh, to the existing 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. And I didn't want to have to do that and like transfer all the devices over to a new network. So the setup was extremely easy. I'll, I'll explain how it works. So basically what you want to do is take one of your nodes and just plug it with uh, via Ethernet cable to your uh, Wi-Fi router modem combo. The next thing you do is download the TP-Link app, which is a really, really good app. It's got five-star reviews, at least on Google Play, so I'm very impressed in how, how rave the reviews are. You install the app, and then you connect, and then you just follow the on-screen connection. So you'll connect directly to the node. You'll just click the next couple times. It'll automatically detect your internet. It'll set everything up. You basically don't have to configure anything. You just install the app, log into the TP-Link account, connect to the node, and you're off to, you're off to the races. So and a very simple setup. I was actually half asleep while I was setting this up and I was like, oh, this is great, this is really easy. And, and best of all, I can use my existing Wi-Fi network. Uh, so for the Wi-Fi modem router combo, I can just use that and I don't have to touch with it and I can connect all my, my important devices, let's say like my laptop, like my computer, my Oculus Quest setup. I can connect it to the new network and it's basically super fast and I don't have to worry about congestion anymore. Now my pack came with two nodes and if you wanna link another node, it's really easy. All you have to do is literally just plug it in and then the app just automatically detects that it's, it's online and it automatically connects. So yeah, it's very easy to extend the network. You just plug it in. So let's talk about the design of these nodes, these Deco XE75 nodes. 
Now I have to say they look very nice. They're, it's like a nice white cylinder. It doesn't look very flashy, but it's very just, it kind of blends into uh, my furniture. It doesn't look very kind of eye jarring or anything like that. Now, what I really like about this attention to detail from TP-Link is that you can disable the LED light. And trust me, that's something that I did immediately because I don't want a blinking Wi-Fi router if I place it next to my bed stand, for example. So in terms of the ethernet ports that are available on this, there's actually three. There's one really fast 2.5 gigabit uh, ethernet port, which is something that you, you pay for a premium for so that if you have really fast internet that goes well over one megabit or one, one gigabit, you're gonna really take advantage of those speeds. And then there's two other one gigabit ethernet ports. So with these three ethernet ports, you're gonna be using it primarily to connect other devices. Let's say you wanna attach your PC directly wired in through the ethernet port. Maybe you wanna use one of these ethernet ports to create a wired backhaul so that it's super fast and reliable. Alternatively, you can also plug in, let's say a network attached storage. So all in all, in terms of its ports and design, I have to say it's very sleek, it's very nice. There's no fans, the antennas are built in and yeah, just it's a very sleek design. So let's dig into some of the key functionalities of the app and what you get with it. So one of the main things is that it's just a very nice and easy app to use. There isn't a lot of fancy features that you really need to explore because everything is pre-configured. But if you do want to do things, let's say turn off, let's say a particular network, so maybe you don't want to have 2.4 gigahertz network on, you can turn that off. And you can do things like see when a new device is connected to your system. You can enable or disable the guest network. There are also some really key important features like being able to toggle from router mode to access point mode. So what do I mean by that? So what's really cool about this mesh node system is that each, each node is basically a Wi-Fi 6E router and you can use it in any other network you want. Maybe you don't necessarily have to connect the two nodes together. And I'll explain how I did that a little bit later in uh, another location that I live in. So what's really cool is that you can also, if you don't want to create another separate kind of Wi-Fi network, maybe you don't want to like, maybe you want to extend your existing network, then you can opt to use the access point. So in that case, the TP-Link node isn't actually going to create a router. It's just going to default to using your existing router if you have one. If you only have a modem, you don't have a router built into that modem, then I do, then you probably want to keep it in router mode. What's also really cool about the app and the, and just the overall mesh system in general is how it works autonomously. It uses AI to actually find the best connections, the best spot, and it tells you if you don't have the optimal connection so you can course correct it. But overall, I didn't have to do anything. It automatically de detected everything and everything was optimal. So I got the best speeds right out of the box. Another key feature that you get with the TP-Link app is the ability to switch how the backhaul system works. So what do I mean by that? So basically by default, when you set up this node mesh system, the backhaul is going to be using Wi-Fi 6E exclusively. So no other Wi-Fi 6E device can actually use that network. It's, it's strictly used between the nodes so that it has the optimal connection. No one else is using it. It's super fast and it gives you, it delivers the best and fastest internet connection. Now, however, if you are very, you have a lot of Wi-Fi 6E devices and you want to take advantage of that, that extra speed and, 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 and performance, you can definitely just enable that so that the backhaul shares between all their six, other 6E devices. And it also uses the Wi-Fi 6E connection between the backhaul system. So it, it basically shares between the backhaul and other 6E devices. Now, personally for myself, I don't have any Wi-Fi 6E devices. And don't get that confused with Wi-Fi 6, which is still using the regular five gigahertz uh, frequency band. So things like my Oculus Quest 2, it uses Wi-Fi 6, but it's not necessarily using Wi-Fi 6E. Even the Samsung S20 isn't using Wi-Fi 6E, it's the 21 that uses it. So what I end up doing is just leaving it at default settings in the app. Basically the backhaul system will be communicating between the nodes uh, using Wi-Fi 6E so that I have the fastest internet and the best speeds. So you can see that I have the the node connected right below the Rogers modem. Now, the thing with the Rogers modem is that it is a very crappy modem. It's not, not very good. It's, uh, it's Wi-Fi connection is not very powerful. So what ends up happening is when I want to connect it from my bedroom, it basically doesn't work. Uh, 2.4 or five gigahertz just doesn't work for my phone. Now with this in the, literally in the same uh, spot as the Rogers connection. And let's say I disconnect, I only have one node. So this, this node right here, it will cover the entire house and the Wi-Fi connection compared to this is much, much further. I can go into the backyard, get a stable connection and everything works. So this, you know, if you compare them at the same spot, this is performing a lot faster. What's really cool about this is that this Deco 6E can function both as a router or an access point. Now in this case, 
it's connected directly to the modem and it's working as a router, which is really cool because effectively I have two Wi-Fi networks. So overall, using this Wi-Fi mesh node system day to day has really improved my life. First of all, I get really fast internet speeds. I was doing a bunch of tests and I've noticed that I was getting about 100 megabits more download speeds when connected through Wi-Fi 6. Uh, my old router was using only Wi-Fi 5 at the uh, 2.4 uh, or 5 gigahertz ne uh, network, but this one is a lot more faster. Another thing that's really nice about mesh nodes versus using your typical kind of crappy access points that are not uh, so seamless is that let's say you're walking across your house and you, you basically have one Wi-Fi network that you're always connected to. You can see in this illustration, the person is walking from room to room and then they have to disconnect and then reconnect to another network based on that specific floor. That is a very jarring process and it's you can lose connection, you have to regain connection, it's just a terrible. By having this mesh node system, it's all one seamless Wi-Fi network and it just works. That's honestly what it really matters is just it works excellent. I can go really far in my backyard. I've tested this many times. These two nodes definitely cover up to 5,000 square feet. So I'm very impressed with the coverage that it provides. So one of the issues with these really simple access points is that they are not very good. And I'll, I'll admit this is a TP-Link access point, but I got this maybe like six years ago and I was plugging it inside here to kind of give the bedroom over there some Wi-Fi access because it couldn't reach all the way down there. Now the issue with this TP-Link is obviously couple things. The first thing is that it uses a really slow 2.4 gigahertz connection. So th that means that the that radio frequency, it, uh, it doesn't support 5 gigahertz. So it's going to be inherently really slow and it's going to be congested if you live in a very populated dense area. So another issue when compared to the Deco 6E is that this has a, not a very seamless experience. So what do I mean by that? Well, basically if you have your phone, your Wi-Fi devices, and you're going from room to room, you'll need to actually switch to this specific network and I'll show you in a minute what it looks like. And it's a very, very dis, dis, uh, fragmented experience. It's not very fun to have to like go into your Wi-Fi settings and then you know lose a connection, then reestablish a connection. It's just way too much work and it's not very seamless. Now with this, you can have as many of these devices spread across your entire house, all these nodes, will all function as one Wi-Fi network. So that means that when you walk from one part of your house to another, you'll be completely connected to the internet. You not have to like have these dead spots or lose connection and reestablish connection. So it's really nice in that regard. So we did a lot of testing in a regular home, a detached home where there's no interference from nearby neighbors because the next neighbor is pretty far away. Now, how does this actually perform in a condo complex or an apartment where there are so many people adjacent to you, next to you, and there's so many interference, so many signals that are going through your, your living space? So right now I'm in a, an apartment right now and it's a very small one and I have a neighbor above me, below me, side to side. So it is very jammed in here and not the most ideal living conditions. In any case, we're gonna test this out. We're gonna see how well it performs in a very congested area. We're actually using the same Rogers modem Wi-Fi combo. And this is gonna be a good test because we're gonna see how well it performs against a standard Wi-Fi 5 router, which is very subpar, doesn't work very well compared to Wi-Fi 6. And to give it the most compelling tests, and I'm not gonna just run you know, statistics, benchmarks, and all that stuff. I don't find that those scientific benchmarks are very helpful for the average user. I'm gonna be actually comparing this with the Oculus Quest. And this is the Quest 2, it uses Wi-Fi 6. And what's really key about this is that because there's so much congestion in this condo apartment complex, it's very hard to play Wi-Fi, or it's very hard to play with the Quest through Wi-Fi in a very congested network. You're gonna get more lag and stuff like that. So I don't believe in all those synthetic benchmarks and testing, like, I wanna see the real world example of how this performs with this Wi-Fi 6 router. Now what's really cool about this specific met node is that I'm gonna be only using one of the pair, one of the actual nodes. So you don't need to have a bunch of nodes, obviously, because it's a small place. And what's really cool about this router is that it can access as a Wi-Fi access point or a, a completely separate router. And what do I mean by that? Well, basically, I don't want to have to change all my devices to the, this new router. I want to basic, basically use this as an access point so I can continue using the 2.4 gigahertz network for all my IoT devices, like my light bulbs and stuff like that. Trust me, it's a big pain having to change all the Wi-Fi to a different network. And I, so I'll put this in access point mode and we'll also test that as well. So let's get into some VR and let's test the Wi-Fi 6. 
So after having tested the Deco node in a congested apartment, I did notice an overall improvement in latency when playing my Oculus Quest 2 wirelessly. Everything was super smooth and there were no more stutters. What's really cool is that I could run my ISP's modem router combo in bridge mode, meaning that its Wi-Fi router capabilities are actually disabled. And then I'll hook up my Deco node and it'll be in the default router mode, which means that I have router capabilities with a dedicated modem. In my case, particularly though, I actually disabled the five gigahertz channel on my default modem disabled the 2.4 gigahertz channel on the Deco node, and then I switched my Deco node to access point mode with its five gigahertz channel enabled. This way, I don't have to migrate all my connected IoT devices from my default uh, router. I could just keep it on the default router's 2.4 gigahertz channel, and then I can connect all my fast, meaningful devices to the Deco's five gigahertz Wi-Fi 6 channel, and then I can still have all these devices on the same network since Deco is only extending the main network in its access point mode. Basically, you have a lot of options you can play around with all the cool options you have. Now, what's really cool about one of these nodes, as I mentioned earlier, is that it's basically a Wi-Fi 6E router on its own. And I have to say, it is a very performant Wi-Fi 6E router. Now, let's say compare it to, let's say, their standalone basic uh, Wi-Fi 6E routers like an Archer AXE75, which is a dedicated router. It's what you use, typically use if you don't need a mesh node system. And you can actually compare the specs between the two. So what's really cool is that they're both using the same processor, uh, or at least in terms of the specs. So this, this one uses a 1.7 gigahertz quad-core processor. It has six streams, just like the Archer AXE75 uh, router, okay? So the only real difference between the two is that this doesn't have USB 3.0. So you can't connect a, let's say, a external hard drive and get that you know, hard drive on the network. You'll have to connect a regular network attached storage. And of course it has less ethernet ports than a typical standalone router. So my point is, is if you just need a standalone router, you probably will, will still want to get like a standalone router. You don't want to buy a mesh node system, but it's really cool how one of these little nodes is actually comparable to a standalone router. It has the same 2.5 gigabit, really fast ethernet connection. It has the same process, processing speed uh, in terms of quad core 1.7 gigahertz. And in terms of the Wi-Fi capacity, like how much can it support? It has six streams. And that is really good for just a, just a regular node. For reference, if you get a more budget-friendly Wi-Fi 6 router, you'll see that it only has a dual core CPU, which is substantially slower and it only supports four Wi-Fi streams. So this is actually, this node is pretty fast. Not to mention that this is a tri-band router, which is the next generation Wi-Fi 6E, 6 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and 2.4 gigahertz. So in conclusion, what do I have to say about the Deco XE75 mesh node system? Well, I have to say, this is going definitely going to future-proof you. Having Wi-Fi 6E is really important, especially as we get more, more, more devices on our network and things become really congested. Especially for the next generation of virtual reality, if you're really big into video games and you want that really fast, low latency speed connection, investing in something like this that will take you for the next three to four years is gonna be a worthwhile investment. Anyways, that's all I have to say about the Deco XE75. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to answer and I will see you in the next video.